Hey, I'm Helen Lane. I am a health coach and co-founder of Vibe Health. Welcome to our channel. So today I am sharing with you a day in my life. I am inviting you into my life. And my intention in doing that is to help you get to know me a little bit better. Yes. But mostly I really want to share with you my approach and my mindset towards living a healthy and happy lifestyle. Because you're gonna follow me through my day and there will be things that you might not like, there might be things that you know you couldn't do because you work nine to five or because you don't have children, you know, your life is gonna be different from mine. And it's not about saying, if you do as I do, then you're going to be healthy and happy. It's more about sharing with you my approach and my mindset towards living my life that allow me to be healthy and happy. And when you approach uh, your lifestyle with this mindset, the same can be true for you too. Now you'll notice there is very little judgment. I keep things very simple and I'll only take on what I feel is achievable. So I'll take on enough that I feel fulfilled and like I'm really living my life and making an impact in the world, but not too much that it becomes a burden. You'll notice that I really prioritize myself and you might think that's selfish, but it's not. I know that when I prioritize myself, my own needs, I do what I want to do to make myself feel fulfilled and happy. Then I know I show up for my family and my children as my best self. Um, so I do, I prioritize myself as number one. Other things you might notice is that I listen to my body, I eat intuitively, I don't eat what people tell me to eat, it's all about what I feel in my body is best for me. I have over time created feelings of pleasure and sort of good positive vibes around the sort of healthy habits and the behaviors and the lifestyle factors that give me the life that I want, the body that I want, the moods and the energy levels that I want. And in doing that, it's, it makes it sustainable. It means I stick to them long term. Throughout every day, I always create time for fun and relaxation. You'll notice I do that a lot on this particular day. And um, I think that is a major, major factor for me in what keeps me happy. And it's not like they have to be big things or long, long relaxation, like taking an hour or anything like that. It's more just like little tiny 10 minutes here, five minutes there of things that just are fun or relaxing and that definitely creates more happiness in my life. And lastly, I really tend to try as much as possible, <laughs> I am human so it's not 100% of the time, but I try to focus on what is good. What is good in my life, what's going well, what I have accomplished, and really keeping my attention on like the experience I want to be having, where I do want to be headed. So this is ultimately how I have created a healthy and happy lifestyle for myself and I hope for my family too. And I really hope you enjoy spending a day with me. I'm glad to have you along for the ride. Morning, it is quarter to six in the morning. I've just woken up. Um, first thing I always do is get dressed and then I go straight downstairs and make myself a coffee. <laughs> And then part of my morning routine is just the normal standard thing for mum of getting everyone ready for school, getting all the lunch boxes done, and feeding the dog. <laughs> so particularly not particularly exciting, but I really like that time of day. Everyone sort of getting ready for a new day, excited for what's to come. And uh uh, I could just go back to sleep, but I'm not, I'm going to get up, and this is how I always start my day on a school day, always starts with coffee, <laughs> um, I quite often have um, a lemon water too, just to sort of get the hydration up, and I always, pretty much always have porridge for breakfast, um, I make my porridge with um, half water and half almond milk and then I love to sprinkle over like flaked almonds and blueberries and things like that 
And that's pretty much how I start my day every day. Yeah. Except the weekends. Always a little bit different on the weekends. We always have our coffee in bed in the weekends. <laughs> and I always make my bed. It's like, it's a must. I do genuinely believe that coffee is like heaven in a cup. And there are studies that suggest that drinking coffee, dark roast coffee, is good for your DNA and it prevents damage to your DNA. So I am totally on board with this. After the school run every day, I take Mr. Ozpot. Ozzy! Ozzy! Hello, boy. I take him for a walk and he plays with his best friend, Misty. These guys are so funny when they get together. They're really sweet. They absolutely adore each other and go completely crazy. And most of the time I just sit and I just chill and we'll chat and I'll drink my coffee. Um, but today I wanted to show off Ozzy's really crazy mad jumping skills. He literally can jump so high. It's like he's flying. Watch this. <laughs> Isn't that incredible? Blows my mind. But I love Ozzy and I love my coffee and this is like one of my favorite times of day. So I've just got in from walking Ozzy. It's nine o'clock in the morning and the caffeine from my coffee is kicking in. I've had some fresh air, some gorgeous sunshine and now I'm totally ready for the gym. So it's leg day today and I will take you with me. I'm lucky that everything is really close on the compound, so I just ride my bike. One of my biggest motivations for going to the gym is the amazing people that I get to hang out with there. I think if you have a tribe of people who are at the gym with you, who you really enjoy spending time with, who motivate you, inspire you, um, it definitely makes it a way more fun experience. And this is my tribe, <laughs> love them. So today I'm working legs, I'm doing 15 reps on the lying leg curl, and then leg extension, 15 reps, and then walking lunges. I do this three times three, and then when it all feels a little bit too much, we've set ourselves up with a little space for rest. <laughs> so already completely knackered, but now I'm onto the even harder part of this workout. The cardio. I'm doing a one minute bike sprint followed by 30 bodyweight squats and then into 10 vertical jumps. It absolutely destroys your legs and it burns like hell. <sighs> Woo. So I've done four rounds and now I'm really sweaty, super buffed out, but it only took about 10 minutes. And what I love about this is I've been in the gym for 40 minutes. So it doesn't really take that long, but you know you've worked hard. <laughs> so this program I'm following is great. And yesterday it was the heavy leg day. So it was only three reps and five sets. So it was a heavy weight, low reps, <sighs> working the lower body. But then today when your legs are tired and they're a little bit sore, you come back and you do like um, a higher rep range at a lower weight. So. Um, I never used to do that. I never did leg day twice in a row before. Um, but what's great is it really helps with my recovery. So tomorrow, even though I've got loads of lactic acid in my muscles at the moment and they feel all tight and full and sore, by tomorrow they'll feel a little bit better for working them again. So um, I'll put a link to this workout. Um, you can get it free on T Nation and I'm absolutely loving it. I'm getting so much stronger. Um, I'm feeling really motivated. I'm in week five and uh, lifting heavier than I've ever lifted, so it's really, really cool. All right, Woo. Hello, Ozzy. Hello, boy. Hello, boy. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, you happy to see me, happy to see me. One of the reasons I have a dog is because they love you so much. He loves it when I get home and I love getting home to someone who's really looking forward to seeing me. <laughs> so I've just nipped into the shop on my way home from the gym, which I do pretty much every day because we always need something. Um, so I'll show you what I've got in my basket. So what have we got here? So for some apples for the kids. Some salad, this is how lazy I am. I don't make my own salads, I buy pre-chopped. 
And we got meat for Ozzy. He's on a raw diet, so I'm pretty much always buying raw meat. They must think I'm really like carnivorous, if that's a word. <laughs> and then some lemon to cook with our dinner. So I don't buy fish here very often because um, it's never, it never seems that fresh. Because I guess we're in the middle of the desert. I feel like it's got a really long way to get here. So it always just feels a bit smelly and um, I love fish, but I don't eat it here very often. So then I saw these frozen Tesco haddock fillets and haddock isn't something you can buy here either. And I just thought I might make a fish pie. Why not? I haven't done that for ages. Normally I would try and buy organic fish or something like that, but you know, you've got to work with what you can and here you just can't get that kind of thing. Um, I've got some eggs, we make it through a million eggs for some reason, and I've bought some oats, I have oats for breakfast pretty much every day, and chocolate. So um, when you live here in Saudi, they tend to add this special ingredient to chocolate to stop it from melting, so it just doesn't taste the same. <laughs> um, but they have an import section and you pay a fortune, but then you get some really nice Good chocolate so I've got like a dark salted chocolate um, which is more for me I love my dark chocolate and my son is obsessed with the stuff um, I was gonna buy some white chocolate but they sold out and then I bought some extra dark now I don't, I don't really eat this off the bat like I wouldn't just sit and eat some 85% dark chocolate uh, I kind of go up to 70 if I'm having a munch on chocolate but I love to chop this and put it in Greek yogurt and then freeze it and then it's like a healthy ice cream alternative. <laughs> so I'll probably make that later today, so um, you'll get to see that. So obviously I've just done a big workout, so normally mid-morning, it's 10 o'clock now, I will make myself a protein shake. Um, even if I don't work out, I tend to have a protein shake mid-morning and mid-afternoon as like my snacks. One, because I'm really lazy, <laughs> and they're just so quick and easy to make, and I love um, sweet stuff, you know, I've got quite a sweet tooth, so I can make shakes with like banana and peanut butter, or berries, or like lots of nice, it feels like a sweet treat. Um, and it's also getting quite a lot of protein in in one go, so because I tend to have um, porridge for breakfast, and then, you know, something quite light at lunchtime, I tend to find that, you know, I probably don't get enough protein for the amount of exercise I do. So just having a protein shake for a snack in the morning and a snack in the afternoon works really well for me to get the protein up. Um, and also it really stops me from getting sugar cravings. Like I find, you know, if I get enough protein in during the morning, um, it kind of sets me up for the day so that I don't get those munchies because I feel full and satisfied and I have energy. Um, so it's definitely a winner for me. So let's make a protein shake. So for my base, I just use water and I've got a couple of ice cubes in there and um, I've got some frozen banana. So I buy massive bunches of bananas uh, because I know that we're not gonna eat them all. So when they begin to get spotty and they're just getting really nice and ripe, like the perfect banana, I chop a load up and freeze them. Um, so then I've got them for shakes or to make like a healthy ice cream alternative. Um, so I'm just going to put like, you know, a few chunks of frozen banana in. Um, then each billet chomps through that like anything. So I've got whole earth crunchy pe organic peanut butter. Um, I absolutely love whole earth peanut butter. It is the bomb. It has no sugar added, no palm oil. It's basically just amazing and they kind of blend it um, or make it I guess um, with the skin still on so it's kind of um, you can see like the little bits of the skin and for some reason that makes me feel like it's gonna be better for me <laughs> um, the goodness tends to be in the skin of things right so um, just a teaspoon I throw in there and at the moment we are using this uh, whey protein isolate by pink sun it's grass-fed, hormone-free, 92% protein, easily digestible, which is very important. Um, and it's got no like added sugars or flavors or anything. It's a just natural protein powder. The other thing I like about this brand is that they've got the branch chain amino acid profile. Now, 
I'm not that clever, I don't really know much about this, but I know that they're very important amino acids the body needs. And this has a whole bunch of them, so I kind of feel like I'm getting them in. So here we go. So one scoop of that, in it goes, and that's done. Easy, simple. Sometimes I'll add um, a little bit of raw cacao powder or something to make it a bit chocolatey. Um, I don't really feel I did that today. So that's it. How easy is that? So I gave that really good churn up because it had the frozen banana in it and uh, that takes some work. Now, I have a thing about protein shakes and drinks in general. I prefer to drink them through a straw. <laughs> so I always have my shake in one of my cups that has a message on it. So this one says, can't see it. it says, enjoy it. And I plan to. Look at that. It's almost like a slushy. Oh gonna be amazing. Mm, nice and subtle, it's not too sweet. And you also get little crunchy bits in that, <laughs> which is great. So one habit that definitely serves me well is that I always wash as I go. So I've literally just finished my shake and I wash it up right away and it's done and I don't have to think about it. It doesn't build up. I hate having clutter on the sides. Winds me up bad enough just leaving it to dry. <laughs> but um, I find that, you know, a lot of people struggle with clutter, but it takes 30 seconds just to wash it immediately. And then it's done. Easy. So just after I work out, instead of going and getting showered right away, I tend to do some work because I find that my creative juices and my genius is really like buzzing straight after a workout. I think it's like the endorphins or something. So at the moment I'm working on a 21 day challenge, which we're really excited about. That's gonna be out soon. And um, I'm just working on the content for that. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. So I like to work in little bursts. I've done 45 minutes and I like to put like a container on my time. So I know if I work and focus for 45 minutes and then take a break, then I'm much more efficient. I get more done. I just needed to run an errand. So I ran off to the um, travel agent here quickly to book some flights. Um, I try to do something every day that feels like it's taking me a step in the direction of where I want to be going or a step towards something that I want to be experiencing. Um, I feel like that makes me happy. So I have spent a lot of time trying to adopt the mindset of being happy in the present cherishing and loving what is, you know, your experience of life as it is at the moment, while still striving to move forward. You know, as humans, I think naturally, we always have wants and desires, and there's always more, like we could have more money, we could have more experiences, we could go and see more places, um, we could have more gadgets, you know? Um, there's always this kind of like upgrading as we progress through life. And that's great, like it's amazing. The world has so much to offer. Um, but I think a lot of the time it can be very easy to get caught up in, in the wants and what we're not experiencing that we kind of feel like we're lacking. And that's quite an unhappy place to be. I really try to appreciate my life exactly as it is and love it exactly as it is while still making it okay to go and book some flights to New York. <laughs> so my husband and I decided for this year's sort of annual family holiday, we wanted to go somewhere neither of us had ever been before. And bizarrely, neither of us have ever been to New York. I've just been and booked our flights. Um, I am so excited, like crazy excited, because it's also the first time that as a family, we've ever traveled business class all together. So that is something that I can now tick off my bucket list, you know, and that feels really amazing. Having a list of all these things that you want to accomplish and achieve in your lifetime and then just being able to go done <laughs> um, is really cool. So I'm really excited about that today. That's given me a really good feeling. 
And now I can go get washed up finally <laughs> and move on to the rest of my day and afternoon. Pop back tomorrow to meet the little angel and join me for the rest of my day. Thanks for listening.